Hello guys, so today we have a Friday. As I mentioned that we started the 30 day challenge. So, uh, so I would like to share something about me, about my challenge. So firstly, I have done, uh, so I said I'll be reading 10 pages a day and didn't quite do that. And uh, I can say why, but it will be excuses. Uh, so I read 20 pages uh, from 50. So I'm still happy that I'm reading. I also said I'm gonna be jumping on the trampoline, but again, this one I couldn't really get to it. And um, and also helping people on the Facebook, I said one person a day, and I help uh, three people on the Facebook or WhatsApp. And um, and uh, yeah, so that was pretty much my uh, small daily habits which I'm gonna do. And also speaking with um, you know people about the coaching, I had uh, two strategy calls and three coaching calls this week, so I'm pretty happy about that. But this week was busy, very busy, because we took another property for service accommodation and it's not ours, but we'll be managing it. So we, uh, there is a sourcer, he found the deal, he sold to the investor, we are staging the property and we'll be managing it. I'm sitting in the property right now because we are doing that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so three days and we are nearly ready. So as you can see, you know, the property will be very nice. I'm gonna be definitely putting photos and uh, some videos on, you know, uh, Instagram and Facebook and so on. So yeah, that's about the week. It's about my week. But what I want to say about today, and I'm saying this all over again, and I'm going to say again, if you want to build the momentum, if you want to take, you know, if you want to reach, achieve some results, you need to take the action and you need to take the action now. You know, don't wait for another week or another two weeks of planning. You know, if you want to, you know, you know, either do, you know, change some habits, you know, if you want to stop smoking, you know, for example, just stop now, you know, you don't need to wait for a week or two weeks before you're going to get and meet someone or, I don't know, tell yourself, you know, it's going to be last pack or whatever. And it's the same in a property business, you know, so if you want to get some rental and service accommodation, if you want to sell some deals, you need to go out there and you need to do those things. I also realized this week that actually, uh, we were staging that property and usually me and my business partner, we are staging the properties and, uh, you know, we go to shops, you know, we buy, we assemble and do all these things. And uh, because this property was, you know, we wanted to buy a little bit nicer things. And uh, so we spent a lot of time in actually uh, buying, you know, going to the shops and deciding what to buy, what is going to be good. And uh, we realized that we don't have that much time for assembling. So we hired someone who yesterday evening assembled all the stuff for us. And it saved us, you know, around six hours of our valuable time. And we can focus the time on, you know, things which matters the most. Okay. And uh, I think this is the lesson from that week. And I think I would like to share that lesson with you. So if you have something in a business, what you want to achieve and you want to do, I think you, you should focus on the things which, you know, either, you know, you like them, you know, and uh, basically you, you would want to give them up or the things which are bringing you the income, which are bringing you those things, you know, and either income or, you know, building these assets for yourself. And uh, if there are things which, you know, you do because you want to save money on that, like we did, uh, that we were always assembling the stuff. So it's better, you know, to pass it to somewhere else, pay him, you know, a few hundred pounds and um, he can assemble all the things for you and you're going to save that time and you can use the time, you know, in uh, better things for yourself. So like, uh, for example, we, we, we are in touch now with two investors which are looking for rent and service accommodation dealers in Edinburgh. So, you know, we would rather spend the time looking for deals for them, maybe, or pass it to some other deal sources, making contacts, because those things are, will move, move our business, uh, you know, to the next level, uh, definitely quicker than assembling the stuff and spending day on that. Okay, so this is the lesson what we really learned this week. So from now on, we're not going to be assembling anything. We will maybe be shopping for now because we want to, you know, decide how to design it but we'll always pay someone and to do it for us so we can save that time. So, and I definitely know that there is something in your business which you do and it doesn't need to be done by you, okay? So for example, you know, if you are, you know, doing bookkeeping for your business, you know, you can pay someone, bookkeeper, maybe, you know, 70, 80 pound a month and he can do it all for you and you can save those hours of putting receipts, you know, onto the QuickBooks or whatever software you use and uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time and you can focus on things which you like or which you love, you know, and uh, that's with everything basically. So this is the lesson for today and for Friday. And uh, I want to also say, if you want to be successful, it's definitely good to follow ultimate success formula. So if you didn't see the video yet, check it out. I'm just going to put it in here 
and it's called Ultimate Success Formula. Four steps how to be successful in anything you do. So I hope you're gonna check it out. Have an amazing day and see you on Monday. Bye-bye.